Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node sign. This is going to be a Twin Flame reading for the sign of Pisces. Please keep in mind that it's a general read, it will not resonate with everyone. If it does, please let me know in the comments. Also, please let me know if you would like me to, uh, to keep the Oracle readings or you would like me to get back to our traditional uh, tarot spread with two decks, like I used to do before. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's see what are the energies for Pisces with regards to their Twin Flame connection. Give me one card, please, for their Twin Flame energy. What are they doing? Let's see. We have choice, understanding consequences. Well, this card actually massively reminds me of the Seven of Cups, but maybe in a more like prominent way. I feel like You know what, I'm picking on the energy of disappointment. I feel like this person, your twin flame, there could be that they left you uh, in search for something easier than this connection, for something else, for someone else, right? But whatever they what they tried to do here, it, not, not necessarily for another person, could be that they left you for another job, for... For, uh, for whatever it could be, right? For the distance, for, uh, for their family, uh, I mean the immediate family, uh, because of the difference between you two, because of the intensity, and they were trying ever since to replace this connection and to replace you in their life, and it didn't happen. And it didn't happen. And I feel like with the number nine here, I feel like this person is on the verge of understanding that there is nothing in this world that can actually replace you, replace this connection, that there is nothing like that. And also with understanding con consequences, it's telling me that probably when they left, they left you upset. For the most part, I feel like, I feel the, the great feeling of guilt here from this energy. They feel like they really wasted a lot of time. And for some of you, I feel like it could be a lot of time. It could be months, maybe a year, maybe two years, like really long time. I feel a long time here. Because this person feels like they wasted a very long time trying to find what was right in front of them all the way. Quite a heavy energy here. Right? So, uh, yeah, let's see how are they viewing Pisces at this time. Let's, let's see. Effort. Well, this card is coming up pretty often. It was just now, I think, in Aquarius's reading or Capricorn's, I'm not sure. I'm quite sure I've seen it in the Sagittarius's reading, so you could be dealing with Sagittarius. Well, I want to say that they do see you, uh, I said it already in one of the readings, this card reminds me a lot with the Queen of Wands. So they see you as somebody very charming, very independent, they don't believe that you need them. They don't believe that you even think about them anymore. They don't believe that you actually, you know, for some of you, they don't believe that you actually care about this connection anymore. Right? I feel like they see you actually as a very strong person here, Pisces. They see you as somebody who is able to, I want to say, to control themselves in a, in a good way, right? Who is able to stand in their own integrity, who is able to, to set a, a very firm and healthy boundaries here. They actually, they put you on some kind of a pedestal here, uh, Pisces, right? So... Uh, so, yeah, and I believe this is actually, for, 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 for some part at least, this is a result of their searching here and there for the replacement. They see that there is no one like you. There is no one like you. And it is because, and actually they do see how much work you do on, your, on yourself, how much progress you do, how much growth you've been through. They are watching you, if, even if you are not talking together. Right? I feel like from the distance this person is constantly watching you. They are constantly checking up on what you are doing. Uh, 
and uh, how you are and in 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 whatever um, shape or form this is possible they could be asking uh, some friends or acquaintances about you they could be watching your social media maybe you have I don't know a YouTube channel so they watch that uh, whatever the case might be and definitely energetically they feel like I feel like at this time when you were in separation you really indeed conquered a lot of demons of yours right and uh, and maybe before there was some kind of uh, codependency here within this connection but uh, it is no more I, I mean not from your side at least let's see how are they viewing this connection at this time Let's see, we have Transcendence Achieving Success. So look, what I want to tell you, I want to say that they do want to be with you. With the number 10 here, I feel like this person is on the verge of, I don't want to say even on the verge of understanding. They do understand, that's that. There is no more searching. There is nothing else to search for. They look at you and they see, this is what I want. This is the person that I want to be with. Even if they do not understand the connection, right? Which for some of you, I feel like they didn't. But with, with all this fire here, with all these flames here, I feel like they could be beginning to understand how, how different it is, how special it is, this connection, right? The twin flame connection. And, uh, and I feel like, you know... You see this 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 figure on the uh, on the back of the dragon. They feel like they are finally free. They are finally finally released. I I'm hearing liberated. I feel like this person. They were entangled in these choices that they were trying to make and these replacements that they were trying to find, to the point where they already felt like they don't belong to themselves anymore, and I feel like this. This realization actually on their part that the only one they need and the only one they want is you is actually so liberating for them. They do not have to search anymore. They found already what they're searching for. Right? I hope this is making some kind of sense. Now let's see what Pisces is ignoring about this person. What is this that you cannot see about this person or don't know? Surrender. Letting go of the darkness. So I feel like, yes, I feel, Pisces, that you actually maybe at this time, maybe you are seeing this person in a little bit darker colors than they really are. Maybe you see them as a liar or a cheater or a betrayer or somebody who left. You know, like, I feel like you may not have a very good uh, impression uh, about this person or a very good emotion towards this person. But what you cannot see is that is that they actually, uh, like it says, letting go of this darkness. That they are letting go of whatever was holding them before. That they are really moving towards the light here. And you see you see this figure, you see all this green on this card, how different it is. Like, I feel like this person is actually in the, in the stage of a renewal, I want to say. Like, rebirth. Right? They, I, I feel like with this new freedom... And clarity that they found, it's like, it's like they, they have a spring inside their soul. And this is something that you, maybe just because you don't know or you don't, if you are not in the communication with this person, you, you don't have an, any kind of evidence about it. But this is what's happening. So this is what spirit wants you to know about this person. Now let's see what is the foundation for this connection at this time. What are the energies for the connection on its own we have understanding looking at both sides oh wow i really love this energy it's like you see how this reading is progressing from such a darkness and the fire and aggression and you know maybe for some of you frustration towards the green towards the blue with the understanding card here uh it's number 14 which is reducing to the five i feel like yes there is there is a change that is going on right now within this connection right and I feel like this is the time when the both of you have a chance to see the other person's side. You will have a chance. Maybe energetically you already feel it. 
that there is going to be a chance for you to see the other side of this person. I feel like you really have a very bad impression about this person I want to see. Right? You Maybe you see them as materialistic, maybe you see them as as flaky person, something of that sort, but there is a chance for you to see the other side of that. And there is a chance for them to see the other side of you, actually. To see how strong you are. And I, I guess that they do. That they actually do see the other side of you. Because maybe they had another impression about you, but they see, like now, they see what you really are. They see how strong you are. They see how powerful you are. They see how capable you are i want to say right so this is the this is what this whole thing right now between you two is based upon on this renewal of the vision of the other person i hope this is making sense right uh let's see what is the outcome for the nearest future i want to say uh let's say until the next reading maybe seven seven ten days maximum don't forget the energies could shift depending on what you are going to do with them. We have the self gathering your power. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, right now, regardless of uh, maybe this person is not ready to reach out to you just yet, but I feel like both of you, well, I want to say it's mostly for this person because with you, I do see that you are actually standing in your integrity and you are standing in your power. But for this person, yes, I feel like uh, they are going to be with this new understanding. You see how these two cards are actually quite um, look look quite like like one another, right? On, but on the first card, this figure is just finding their freedom, and now they are learning what this freedom is, what they really are, right? What they really can do, how far they really can go, and and I feel like yes, the sense of liberation, like I said already, is deeply connected to the choice that they finally made. Right? They chose this connection, they chose you, and now they are going to actually discover how they can be within this connection, how they can move within this connection, right? It is, it is quite a self-discovery here, and, uh, and this is what is going to happen. I'm not sure if, if, if they are going to reach out to you or not yet, um, probably, maybe even not for this week, but... I'm, I'm actually not getting any kind of like prominent message here. For some of you, yes, they could. Yes, they could to at least to at least express themselves, to at least express the the new found self that they have discovered, right? Just very recently, and it's quite an exciting. I feel like this person is very excited. They feel they feel free. They feel excited. They feel like I'm hearing finally free. So it could be that this person was entangled in some kind of, I don't know, whatever whatever it could be, maybe in, the, in another situation or whatever the case might be, right? So uh, let's see, but now they're not, not anymore. Let's see what is the lesson for both Twin Flames at this time and this connection. We have inspiration. Uh, what is interesting here is that uh, look, this in this deck, this deck contains of two kinds of cards. Some are colorful and some are not. And, and these particular cards, they represent like a general concept. And every time I get the card like that, I feel like it is something that is not, you know, like almost like a, like a plain canvas that are not filled with color yet, that are not filled with ideas yet. And I feel like the lesson right now for the both of you is finding actually the the meaning, the inspiration within whatever is happening between you two in this connection. Uh, let me put it right. I'm just trying to to really translate the message. Look, I feel like the lesson for the both of you here is understanding that there is a lot more to what the eye can see. For you, there is a lot more to this person that, that, than, what you can, that what, than what you can see, that, than what you experienced before from the interactions with this person. And for this person, I feel like it is the understanding that there is a lot more to themselves than they thought. I hope this is making sense. Right? And I definitely feel like with this... With this uh, 
pure plain canvas here and the inspiration it, there is like I feel like there is now at the war of opportunity to write a new chapter in this connection together but you have to gain this understanding of the other side right the seeing of the other side for what they are and seeing yourself for what you are right so uh, yeah i hope this is making sense and um, please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the reading and i hope to see you again bye pisces